The book of Sirach, chapter 14, verse 7. And if he doeth good, he doeth it unwittingly, and at the last he will declare his wickedness. From CNBC.com Would you be willing to get a COVID vaccine in exchange for a $1,500 stimulus check? A one bold proposal would work. This is Dabu7. We've talked about the problem, reaction, solution idea before, and the whole concept of the Hegelian dialect of running two sides and doing everything possible to be able to control a populace, a group of people. Well, in this instance, with all the lockdowns, what we've seen here is not just a control mechanism, but we've seen the other side of this whole thing in terms of people not being able to handle it and taking their own lives, depression setting in, people losing their jobs left and right. And you can only kind of suspect that another round of what we saw already isn't going to be good. We've seen the number of suicides skyrocket in connection with all this. And after this carries on for some time, you get to a point to where people start to become desperate. They want to do anything and everything that they can to try to get back that little bit of normalcy, the life that they used to know. And in doing so, they fall for the trap. They fall for the trap of taking the bait of exactly what the creator of this whole mess wanted. They wanted you to bow down, to succumb, and to do what they wanted. To do everything that they say. And this is how we cannot live. We cannot just bow down into submission because of these things being pressed upon us. But yet this is what we're seeing. And I'm just here to let you know that more and more people around you are probably going to buckle in the days, weeks, months, and years to come because they can't handle the pressure. Because they just want to get back to normalcy. They don't want the stress on them. They just want it lifted. What they're going to find is sometime after they go in, they get that vax or whatever, there's going to be other stresses that come. I hope people are thinking these things out thoroughly before just jumping to conclusions or going running toward a savior, so to speak, in this crisis. One that would not be real. It would all be by design. So that is exactly what a new wave of lockdowns are doing. Bringing people down into this, this depression, and it's opening the door for the ones that created all this to offer a solution. You see, create the problem, offer the solution. So, don't fall for the mess out here is the main thing. It would be nice if this lockdown actually got lifted before the end of the year, but it looks like that's not going to happen. In L.A. County, they've locked down some 10 million people alone, just there. In that little experiment to see how they're going to mentally handle all this. So stay strong, keep your head up, and know that we are in a battle out here. I'm going to break that down further on the next live stream. Make sure to, f to follow me over here on DLive. Going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. You'll find links below in the description box. Much love, y'all. Keep fighting the good fight. Esau, Edom, the wicked, according to the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4, beginning with their hegemony, is about to come down having great wrath because they know that they had but a short time. Shalom, all praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Wacha, Kudash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom, Wa, Chasad, which means peace and mercy. <clears throat> to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great and abroad. To you I say, Shalom, and Yehovah, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, this lesson is edifying. Again, the title of this article reads, would you be willing to get a COVID vaccine in exchange for a $1,500 stimulus check? How one bold proposal would work. 
And why would this so-called proposal work? Because it's been in talks and getting passed for quite some time now. However, it has not been passed. It's been constantly held back by the powers that be of Esau Edom and within their government. Because obviously they're going to use this as leverage against those that will refuse to take their Maxine, their Crown Royal Maxine. And there's been news that states that those that would not take it will not be able to buy or sell in society or take part in the manners and customs of society. And we understand that this is all going to lead to the transition of the RFID microchip, which is a mark of the beast. And those that do not take the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, will not be able to buy nor sell in society. As it reads in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16, he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, which we will read, Lord's willing, throughout the lesson. But those that will not receive the mark, you know, will not be able to buy or sell. And Esau, Edom is just simply using this whole COVID-19 as a scapegoat and his vaccine, his maxine, cold word, his maxine, as a gradual tool, a conditioning tool, so that when he implements that chip, he, he mandates that chip, it'll be a lot more easier for him to cause all of both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive it, except for the elect of the nation of Israel. Because, you see, concerning this whole Maxine situation and stimulus situation, by them holding back stimulus and causing people to go even further into financial debt, that's going to cause them to despair even more to the point where they might start doing things that they had never done. They might start, you know, stealing, murdering for goods. And all these things are in the scriptures, man. It's prophecy. Okay. And these devils are going to cause people to go in a state of panic and despair and great distress by holding this stimulus bill and other things as well as leverage okay especially against those that would not take their maxine and ultimately as time goes on their chip which is a mark of the beast or fighting microchip okay and we see we see that we see that coming down the line and we see what's going on we see what these devils are doing okay key points americans are eager for more one-time stimulus checks you see keyword there is eager so people are waiting eagerly for this next stimulus check but these devils have been holding it back why because clearly they've been using it as leverage leverage okay while the u.s government is working to get covid 19 vaccinations to the american public so they're gonna say you know what if you don't want to take this vaccine then you won't you won't receive a check you won't be you, you won't be able to take part in society Okay, and it'll get a lot more severe once they mandate that chip because everything is leading up to the mark of the beast, which is our Friday market, which is their real goal because that's their no Lord agenda. Okay, COVID is just pretty much a, a, a cover up psyop, you know, that they're using and towards getting to that stage. Okay. Vaccination to the American public. Now, one proposal from former Congressman John Delaney aims to help both sides by providing stimulus checks in exchange for getting vaccinated. You see? There you go. There you go. The goal 
to reach a 75% vaccination rate faster. So they're going to say, oh, okay, so the faster you take this uh, vaccine is the faster you will receive this uh, this check and society is going to go so-called go back to normal, which we know it, it won't because they have to mandate the chip. Okay. And that's when the real test is is is, is going to come. We are on this. This is like a prelude that's that's leading up to that. Okay. Because that's a major prophecy, the mandating of the RFID microchip, which is a mark of the beast. Okay. Which could save both so-called save both lives in the U.S. economy. And to you Israelites out there, do not take the, the vaccine, man. Do not take the vaccine, nor the RFID microchip, which is a mark of the beast. In Europe, it is known as the NFC chip implant. It is also known as the biochip implant. Okay. Oh, what just happened uh, well, pardon me. Well, it looks like this is the end of the uh, the article. But anyway, let's go to the scriptures. Again, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 14, verse 7. And if you do it for good, and if these devils claim as if, if they seem as if they're doing good for the well-being of the people, they're not. He do it for them willingly. Why? Because he's doing it for his own agendas. Okay, he's doing it for his own mean, and he's doing it through psyops, gradualism, okay, order out of chaos, man. Order out of chaos. Galean dialectic, you know, problem, reaction, solution. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness as being what? The devil. The word devil means deceiver, and this man is, is the, the, the deceiver. Because he's going to deceive the world into taking that chip. Oh, look, you see, it's going to be, uh, you know, the new wave of convenience. You'll have your financial information within it. You'll have your medical information within it, your records within it, you know, your keys. So you won't have to worry about losing your wallets, you know, losing your car keys, losing your apartment keys. You'll be able to open up your apartment keys, uh, your apartment doors with it, your car door with it. You know, buy something from the vending machine with it. Simply just swipe your, hand, your hands across a, a scanner as, as simple as one, two, three with it to purchase goods and services, so on and so forth. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that mark is a RFID microchip. Okay. In Europe, it is known as the NFC chip implant. It is also known as the biochip. It is a mark of the beast. The word mark in the Greek is karagma, which means a stamp or imprinted mark. And the root word of karagma is charak, which means a palisade or a grapho, which is that syringe mechanism that they will use to puncture the flesh of an individual to then insert that karagma, that chip, that imprinted mark, that stamp. The root word of Charaxis Grafa, which means of the writings, filled with the writings. Okay? Filled with the records, because within the RFID market chip is where people's medical, financial information is going to be kept. Their keys, so called. Okay? And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast. Now, the beast is the pagan Roman Empire, which came back in the form of NATO and the EU, with America being. An extension of that empire that is the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom that him that hath understanding come the number of the beast for it is a number of a man and his number is 600 three score and six which is his UPC code okay his barcode which is a part of his infrastructure okay that will allow him to utilize the RFID market chip okay in the Greek it is chai, stai, and stigma. Chai and stai both means X mark. And there's a saying in the world, X marks the spot. I always make this example. Now, I've met certain medical movies. Before a nurse or a doctor would puncture the flesh out of an individual, they would mark a little circle to die in the middle or an X, which would be considered the spot or area of puncture. And it all goes into the chip. Okay, just using that as an example. 
but it all goes into the chip, which is a mark of the beast. Stigma means stamp, and according to the online etymology dictionary, figuratively, it means a mark of disgrace. So, by taking that chip, you're pretty much saying that Esau is your your god. He, he's 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 your uh, overseer, you know. And that would be a, a, a slap in the face to the Mosai and his son. And there's a penalty for taking that chip, and the penalty is death, destruction. Okay. And here it is, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed him, followed them, excuse me, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in this image, the image of the beast is the system of the beast, which is comprised of his financial infrastructure, his medical infrastructure, his architectural infrastructure, his philosophies, his laws, his democracies. All these things comprise the image of the beast, which is the system of the beast. And receive his mark in his forehead and in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And so the wrath of Yahweh through Son Yahweh is being likened unto wine, which, which will be poured out into a cup, which is being likened unto the Lord's indignation, which means righteous anger. And which those that receive the mark in their forehead or in their hand and worship the beast in his image will drink all the way down to the very dregs and spew and be mad and be destroyed according to the scriptures. Okay? Because it's all a metaphor for the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Now let's get a scripture to prove that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 70, was it 72? Or is it 70... I'll be 72. Slap you. Yeah, escape me. Psalm 73. Actually, no, it's lock here. Or is it Psalm 68? Psalm 75, Salakia. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 75, verse 8. For in the hand of the Lord Yahweh there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poured out of the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth, shall wring them out and drink them. Okay, and that's that indignation that will come in the form of the ICBM nuclear missiles that are the weapons of the Lord's indignation, in which he will use to destroy the kingdom of the wicked and the kingdom of, and and those that worship uh, these devils you know and and their uh system okay and the beast and receive that mark so this is back in revelation chapter 14 verse and nine verse 10 excuse me the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of yahweh which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Without mixture, meaning that the potency, the, the full fury of the Lord will be uh, distributed to the wicked, so to speak, for the lack of words, will be uh, felt by the wicked. Okay, by the wicked of Esau, Edom, which is the wicked, and the wicked of, of the nation of Israel, which is two thirds of the nation of Israel. Okay, and the heathens as well. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Who is the Lamb? Our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And the smoke of their torment ascend up forever and ever, meaning for a period of time. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast in his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. Okay, so this concludes the lesson. Pray was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. And until the next Lord's will, I say Shalom to the elect. To the, to the elect. <laughs> tongue, tongue, tongue uh, ties today. <laughs>